right, it's uh, Wednesday, June the 24th, and this is Rudy. Um, I'll be reading a letter that came in from Kent Hoven in the mail today. It appears it was written June the 21st, and so there's um, a two to three day lag in the mail. And uh, I need to say before I start reading it that some parts of it are hard to read. Uh, he writes in cursive and um, <coughs> it's just difficult to read so uh, if I mess up a word it was not intentional I'll do the best that I can. Um, we're less than two weeks away from his release date which is July the 8th. So here we go. Blog update June 21st 2015 I was approved for one month home confinement, so I go home July the 8th. Eric and the family are planning a party slash homecoming for July the 11th at 29 Cummings Road, Pensacola, Florida. Florida. Y'all come if you can. I don't know if anyone enjoys reading the Dear God and emails as much as I enjoy researching and writing them. Smiley face. But all the homecoming talk has opened my eyes to all the homecomings in the Bible. Wow, there were a lot of them. Some happy and some not so happy for some folks. Anyway, I'm working on an email about that and will send it when I can. For those who want to help in a much needed ministry to fulfill Proverbs 25.25 and Matthew 25.36, I met two men in the hole who would love to get mail, any mail. Carl Heath, C-A-R-L-H-E-A-T-H, number 23452-045, is 32, has a four-year-old daughter born after he came to prison over meth. He is from Kansas City, Missouri, was raised Mormon. He has nine years to go in prison. He claims he is saved, but info on Mormons, tracks, chick tracks, etc. would be great. They cannot get books, magazines, or newspapers, but any other paperwork is fine. John Cruz, number 18561-380, and it's spelled J-O-H-N-C-R-U-Z, is 30 and has been in the shoe for 14 months. Please write to them and encourage them. It is hard being in prison away from family. I've been changed in 1,000 ways because of my time here. Smiley face. For those who write and email me, thanks. It's a little chaotic now, but I'll answer as I can. I'll see you all at the finish line after the tribulation. Then he gives a quote of Bible verses. Matthew 24, 29, Mark 13, 24, Luke 21, 25, Acts 2, 20, Revelation 6, 12. Smiley face. See my book, What on Earth is About to Happen for Heaven's Sake, on lulu.com for more on that. Smiley face. In Christ, Kent Hovind. All right, that was a letter from Ken Hovind. We praise God for the letter. We praise God that uh, he appears to be um, able to write letters. And we have less than two weeks before July the 8th. <clears throat> you heard him mention July the 11th. They're having a homecoming party. And if you're available, um, I pray you get a chance to go and express your support for a wonderful man of God who has uh, maintained his Christian testimony and been an encouragement to many throughout the body of Christ all over the world. Um, praise God. And uh, we need to keep Kent Hovind and Paul Hansen in our prayers and their families. As many of you know, Paul Hansen has a sentencing hearing uh, in June the 29th, which is just a few days away. So um, that's it. Uh, if any other letters come in, I'll be sure and read them. And uh, again, please keep uh, these men, Paul Hansen and Ken Hovind, in your prayers, and also keep their families in their prayers. Can you imagine being separated from your family for nine years? 
Take care, everyone.